A Western University professor is under fire for using a racial slur during a lecture last week. Andrew Wainos works part-time at the London, Ontario Institution. He was teaching a second-year English, English class on reading popular culture when he used the N-word. I was just frozen in disbelief that he was able to say that word so carelessly and nonchalantly. It was a shocking moment for Chizaba Ariwa, a fourth-year student at the university. On Wednesday, Wainos showed the class the first episode of the 90s sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. It was in reference to the butler Jeffrey that the white professor began speaking about the show's critique of race and class. Our teacher started to explain that pre-emancipation, there were house slaves and field slaves. And he said that house slaves were referred to as house Edward. And then he said the full derogatory term. She says the class of over 100 students, only a few of whom were black, fell silent. She noticed that Wainos immediately realized his mistake and attempted to move on, but was later questioned by one of the black students on why he used the word. He said that he chose to use the N-word to get a reaction out of the class. As a black student who was in one of the first front rows, my position was overlooked and I felt devalued and I felt like he completely humiliated me. Oriwa raised her concerns with him after class and he apologized. He later issued a lengthy public apology through the university that said in part, I used the term house N-word to inform the students of the disturbing terminology that was used during slavery. I immediately regretted my words and there was some discussion of my choice in class, but I could have handled the situation more thoughtfully. He goes on to say, I extend my sincerest apologies to all my students, the Department of English and Writing Studies, Western and the London community. I recognize that my use of the word, regardless of context and intention, is unacceptable in all instances. But Ariwa doesn't think the apology goes far enough, saying he failed to take full ownership of what was said in class. We reached out to Wainos, but he declined to comment further. Western has not released a statement of its own on the incident, only saying that Wainos's actions were, quote, not in keeping with Western's values. Is this something that he should lose his job over? I don't believe that this is something that he should lose his job over because I understand that everybody makes mistakes. This should be an example to all institutions that they should condemn racism as soon as they see it. Ario is calling on the university to do more to address issues of racism and discrimination on campus. She is currently working to transfer out of that particular class.